Hello everyone, we are modeling a cat and in the last class we were able to complete until here and now we will continue to further model the cat, alright. So now that we have modeled the half of the cat, what we will do is, um, uh, if you look at the cat, we need to make sure that the center point of the cat, if I hit the B and the V key, the center point of the cat should be at this edge and then we are going to go to edit, duplicate special and we are going to say instance and in my case it is minus 1 in Y and then I will apply it. Alright, so we get the other half of the cat. So now we have the complete cat. So if you hit the P button, you can see that we are almost there. But we will continue to add more details to the cat and finish it up. So now what we need to do is we need to start carving out the details. Alright, so one thing what we can do is uh, we need one more segment. So we'll go to Mesh Tool and we'll go to insert an edge loop and we'll insert an edge loop here in the middle okay and this edge loop will let us calculate this and then we will select the one at the end here this one and then we need to deselect the one here okay and then we can scale it out so you can get a thickness to the some some mass to the body okay then what we can also do is select this one and we can scale it out so you can give thickness to the legs and then we can do the same thing here scale this out and give thickness to the legs now the legs seem to be quite thick so we can go to the vertex mode and select all the legs select the tail and we can scale the legs in okay so you get skinnier legs so you can look at this one looks still broad so we can further scale it up and keep going until it looks right Okay, so you are get start getting the shape of the cat. Now we noticed here in the front view we have not gotten this up here, right? So this creates that back part. Okay. So now what we need is uh these things should start moving in. So if you go to the side view, uh, you can go to the edge mode and select any one edge and move it inside. Okay, and then alternate edge, start moving it in. Okay, so can be significant. All right, like that. So you can just simply move the alternate one. Which will be this one, I guess.
So we will start creating the roundness of the cat. Okay, and enjoy the process. I mean, this is fun. Right? I love it. Alright, so we worked in the front view so that we could bring all this in. You can even go to vertex mode and then select certain vertices to get the desired results. Okay, so this is going to be the mass of the back leg. So you can try to have the topology follow that. And then this would be the front side of the leg. Okay, you can move this down. Try to get it right and then this is like the back part of it. So this becomes the front, this becomes the back. Okay, so you can see that now we start getting that shape. So, you can go to vertex and then move this in. And then uh, you have this, which is also parallel. So, we need to move this, but little. And now I can use vertex if I want. Doesn't really matter. But we need to create that organic shape of the cat. Okay, um, what I will do now is, I will, um, we will work in the front view and see if we get all these things looking right. Okay, so for example, this is the neck part. So I'll go to edge and then select this edge loop. And then go in the front view. And we need to make sure that the cat has a... skinny neck okay so we can after scaling go to vertex and then move this in to fill that gap okay I can even use a V key so it will snap I'll select this and hit the V key. Okay. 
not snapping is in the picture. Okay, so we can start scaling our hmm, this part. And we'll move on to the next and scale that inside. Then we can go to the next. Then we can see here how things are looking. Okay, and then the next one So maybe I can select both of these and scale these. So now it is time to start getting the proportions right. Okay. And that would give you the basic profile. We will now extrude the ears also. So go to face mode and find the place for the ear and then shift extrude the ear and scale it inside. Okay, so that gives us the ear and then this will complete our uh, first part all right so go ahead and finish up your uh, fine tuning work which we did not finish and that would conclude the first part of getting the basics and then now we will work on how to create eyes and Then we will look at texture mapping, we will look at rigging, and then we will see how to bring this cat to life, all right? So that is our ultimate goal, that this cat will start jumping around and making a mess. I always tell my students that uh, don't be a technician, but be a creative director so i would rather make a low poly character and focus more on storytelling with the characters rather than focusing on creating good quality high quality models it takes long time you can get a good quality model in but uh, that's not going to help uh, Tell you story, right? So if you, if you're a good storyteller, 
that, that has more value than you being a good technician. So always think of speeding up your work process and then try to have some reward at the end of your work rather than just having a good quality render. If you're telling a story, people will enjoy that more. All right. So this this will take time to you know, uh, I mean, look look at uh, how things are, how this can be modeled, how can things be fixed, how can it be not organic, so stiff. So it will take some time to work on the model and get it right. Uh, you'll have to look at it from different angles and see what needs to be pulled, what needs to be pushed, if everything is in place. Uh, what you need to do is, I can go in the top view and then you can see that there are certain things that are out of whack. But this end, the central line, so what I'll do is I'll select this one and then say I go to edit, delete by type, history, okay then this breaks the connection between this so these two are now not connected so we'll have to select both we'll go to, to go to mod, uh, mesh combine okay and now we need to once the mesh is combined uh, if you hit uh, the three key you can see that there is a crease there and at this time i will also go to attribute editor and get rid of this so I'll go to one and then we will select these vertices. Also this is not in the right place. So I could have maybe there are ones in the bottom. Okay, so we need to select all these vertices. Connect at the joint. Okay, then make sure that everything is selected all around. See, there is one missing here. So you can select that. Then there are something else selected which we don't want. Okay. Then we have to hit the scale and then scale it in the middle. So it's a straight line and go to edit mesh, merge, new apply it. And once you apply it, you have to make sure that nothing gets welded. Okay, so something didn't go well here, so we can clean that up later. But now once it is welded, if you hit the three key, you will not have that middle line. Okay, and then you get the cat. So in the next class, we will look at how to add the paw details. And then uh, again, uh, we need to, something went wrong here also. Uh, we need more segments at the joint so the mesh bends properly. So we will add more segments wherever the cat bends. And we'll add the mouth and the eyes and some more ear details to finish the modeling. And then we will move on to the texture mapping. Okay. Thank you very much.